on our previous video, I was telling you about the gooseneck on the boom that got broke. Uh, somebody asked the question how it was broke. Here's just a little photo to show uh, where the damage was. Here's some old photos of the mast before we started doing some work on it. These are some of the parts that we've replaced. So what it is, it drilled the rivets out, bought the new parts and riveted them back into place. I mentioned before that we're going to go all LED on the boat. For the nav lights, we bought some Supernova tricolours, which uh, ended up being not too expensive. The base for the LED lights came with no previous cut holes, which was a good thing for me because all I had to do was cut some holes in it that lined up with the ones on the mast. Just had to make the holes in the mast that little teeny bit bigger to fit the bolts through that I've got. After I fully tightened them up, I took a step back to remind me work and then realised I've got the lights facing the wrong way. There's an arrow clearly states on there, point forwards. Now that I had the bows of the boat fully fiberglassed and painted, the bow roller support bar fully welded on. It was time to sicker flex and bolt it into position. Once I was happy with the bow roller, it was time to fit my new pulpit. Drilled two holes each side for the pulpit bolts to go through. My hands are too big and I can't find any tools that I can fit in there, so I'll have to wait till Jen comes down next time to get the nuts on the bolts. Much more room to get my hands in up this side, so I've bolted the aft ones in. A lick of paint in a chain locker doesn't half make a difference. One of the jobs I did but didn't record myself doing it, I took off the foot of the mast, uh, cleaned it up, uh, treated it and stuck it back into position. I wasn't too happy with the old setup where the VHF wire and the big chunky wire that you've seen at the start of the video came into the cockpit out of the mast. I drilled two new holes in the bottom of the mast and while I had the mast foot off I got my arm up there and I could fit the two new wires. Now it's time to fit the new VHF aerial. As you can see I got a wind indicator and a VHF all in one. VHF aerial connector was a little bit different than I've used before. This type you just pushed it on and screwed it round and it sort of self-threaded itself around the wire. Never seen this sort of one before, but it was uh, felt a little bit sketchy to myself that it had uh, come out after a while.
but it did pop a little bit of solder in there to give it that extra bit of security. The old masthead steamer light has also been changed to LEDs. The new LED light that I bought is flat and it doesn't uh, go with the, the curvature of the mast. So what I am going to do is use the old body of the old light and try and fit it, spray paint it, and stick it all together, see what happens. So you can see with me really good health and safety, I set off with the angle grinder on my legs again. To cut the old light down to size, I spray painted it black and then fitted the new light to it. What I did do but didn't record it was using Sikaflex sealant all around to completely seal it up.